it, it's 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 super fun to laugh together through this piece. I mean, and it is a story of a roller coaster journey of a midlife crisis. You know, a couple of women to celebrate their fiftieth birthdays instead of going to Paris or having a woman's coven evening of camembert and you know champagne. They rent RVs and go to Burning Man to look at the art. It goes, it doesn't go the way they think it's going to go. So, um, and then it kind of spirals into everything that you can screw up in the middle of your life. Have an extramarital affair, get divorced, mm -hmm. have the affair not work out, be suddenly single, approaching 50, going to have drinks with your other angry divorced girlfriends and getting angry on like Chardonnay, and like this angry mug. So it's sort of the stuff of midlife that that happens, we all go through it together, there are twists and turns, but it also seems to be like hilariously funny for audience. Men can relate if they have a female spouse, but they also may be sitting there, and I hear that a lot from men in middle age and beyond, and actually young men too, like, oh, I finally understand what was happening with my mother when she cracked up and none of us knew, and she screamed and, and threw like fried chicken all over the floor, or kind of like like suddenly was in the middle of making dinner, and then suddenly, are you gonna bleep this? Okay, <laughs> I've been not bleep once before, so I've been like where she suddenly screamed, <laughs> throws the casserole on the floor, and screams out the driveway. People go, "What was mom doing?" Like, and and so I think that's part of kind of the enjoyment that men enjoy the play because it explains what happens with their moms and wives, but um, also the, uh, men actually come off, I don't say surprisingly well in this play. It is a play about a woman narrating her midlife affair and breakup of her marriage, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but there's no blame backwards. It's like, if anything, it's the beginning of the journey that goes all these other places, but I really feel the, the fathers and the husbands are really the surprising heroes in this play. They are the, the stalwarts, the, the, the loyal that stand that, that keeps standing after all this debris, you know, explodes around them. So I think they're the unexpected heroes and they know at the end.